Hi everyone, konnichiwa san Welcome to day one of Cookmas, which is my Christmas series on YouTube, where for all of December I'll be posting a video every single day from Monday to Friday. I have some awesome recipes planned for you guys, and I'm so so excited to show you them. And actually, on Christmas Day I'll be posting a Q&A video, so I need all of your guys' lovely lovely questions. So please write all your questions in the comment section in this video, and then I'll use those to answer the questions for the video on Christmas Day. I am so excited for this video series, and I hope you guys are too. So we are starting off the holidays with these girly candy cane marshmallows. So these marshmallows are homemade and they taste like peppermint. They taste so, so good. And there's a swirly little pattern in fuchsia on the surface to make them look like striped candy canes. If you love peppermint hot chocolate, just pop one of these into your hot chocolate and it'll infuse your hot chocolate and make it taste like peppermint. So let's get started. So first, line a square container with parchment paper and then grease the paper with oil. So my square container was dirty, <laughs> um, so I used two loaf pans, which you can totally use as well. Then pour a third of a cup of cold water into the bowl of an electric mixer and sprinkle the powdered gelatin on top and let that sit for five minutes. Place some sugar and a quarter cup of cold water in a small pot and set it to medium high heat and stir until the sugar has melted. Attach a candy thermometer to the pot and boil the sugar until it reaches 238 degrees Fahrenheit. Then add the peppermint extract and mix well. Add the hot sugar to the gelatin and stir the mixture by hand for a few minutes to slightly cool. Then beat with an electric mixer on medium-high heat for about 8 to 10 minutes until soft peaks form. Pour the marshmallow into the container and dot with some hot pink food coloring. Use a toothpick to swirl the food coloring around to create a pretty pattern. Then allow the marshmallow to set for about 3 to 4 hours until it's firm. Dip a candy cane shaped cookie cutter in cornstarch and cut out candy canes from the marshmallow. Then flip the candy canes over and dust the underside with cornstarch as well. Place the marshmallows in a sieve and bounce a few times to remove any excess cornstarch and you are done! So in my other marshmallow videos, I know a lot of you guys were asking if you can use icing sugar instead of cornstarch, and you can. Um, I actually tried it in this video and it works, but it makes the marshmallows a bit crunchier and it makes them dry out a bit sooner. But if you prefer icing sugar over cornstarch, then go ahead, it's totally fine. So thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow I have a whole new video coming up for you, as well as Wednesday, Thursday, Friday all this week. So <laughs> make sure to hit that bunny shaped subscribe button so that you don't miss out on these Christmassy and wintry videos because they're awesome. And I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Nothing. Welcome to the, no, okay, it's not energetic. All right, come on, energy, energy, get energetic. I haven't eaten anything all day. It's like one o'clock, but I need energy for YouTube. So let's cut energy. All right, so weirdest person ever. Also, fun fact, these weren't supposed to be fuchsia. I bought red food coloring and then I dotted the marshmallows with it and I started swirling it and I'm like, no, this, this is hot pink. This is hot pink food coloring. It said red. It was like Wilton, so it's a good brand. I'm like, I don't understand why. Like I thought it was gonna be red, but it was pink. But I love pink, so I mean, it's not really a bad thing, but yeah, so yeah, that, that, that's, that's why they're pink. <laughs>